welcome students children are next generation citizens so one human capital that we build is about reducing the infant mortality rate and ensuring the health of children are taken care but unfortunately in india 70% of infants whose demise would be below 5 years are preventable so today let's discuss about preventable infant mortality rate in india again pay the attention it's not just about the infant mortality rate but preventable infant mortality so if we can classify what kind of mortality are not considered or what kind of mortality are we targeting about so the first thing if there is something accidental death of a child or an infant we would ignore it that means even while accounting for infant mortality rate if there is transportation issue or any accident for example due to accident of ambulance or some kind of natural disaster like thundering or something happens and the kid is no more it would not be accounted as part of your infant mortality rate so natural disasters is one thing second thing is about any accidents these are not the purview that we are discussing today so if we can ignore these kind of things i mean there can be an exhaustive list or else you can put some etc here again the hind side of it is what we are focusing on so the preventable death can be due to malnourishment malnourishment can be due to again micronutrients or macronutrients when you say micronutrients you may have deficiency of zinc iron or various kinds of micronutrients and when it comes to macronutrients it will be the major diet that we take which results in in the famous three indicators of stunting wasting or underweight so okay if these are the categories that we are discussing we would try to address one after the other so these three majorly is due to diet right if it is due to diet then it's clear that means we need to ensure there is proper food that is arranged for the kid and what are the schemes that are already available you can consider icds what is icds when those anganwadi centers are even it also includes the midday meal that is provided to children at various age levels first thing this is one part of it second part is about addressing the issue of immunization or disease prevention it may be through vaccination this is broadly what we would be addressing to reduce these kind of problems in macro in micronutrients we would be fortifying the same food here or else we would take care even the food that is distributed would be exactly targeting the disease that means we would be providing maybe iron tablets for anemia or any kind of zinc uh, included food or tonics to address the zinc deficiency so this is how we would address it this is one part of it okay if we can move to the next part we would first try to understand what schemes are already available and if they are available then why is it not sufficient so the first part of it the first part is about the schemes that are available 
यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट पोषण अभियान एंड एज वी डिस्कस्ड आई सी डी एस मिडे मील और एनी थिंग एल्स एंड यूनिवर्सल वैक्सीनेशन यूनिवर्सल इम्यूनाइजेशन स्कीम्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स वुड कम अगेन एंड द स्टाफ दे आर इन्वॉल्व मे बी द नर्सेस आशा वर्कर्स एंड वेरियस अंगनवाड़ी वर्कर्स एज वेल हु आर डिसेंट्रलाइज एट देर लेवल दे हैव बीन डूइंग सम गुड जॉब इवन द प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर्स वी कॉन्ट ब्लेम अबाउट द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पार्ट ऑफ इट यूजली इन इंडिया मोस्ट ऑफ द स्कीम्स वुड फाइंड प्रॉब्लम एट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन लेवल बट द प्रॉब्लम हियर इज यूनिक द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट वी एनकाउंटर इज अबाउट द प्लानिंग दिस इज वेयर द डिसेंट्रलाइज बॉटम अप अप्रोच मे बी यूजफुल सो इफ यू लुक एट these two places where diet is a problem we will get the solution suppose if we provide same rice and wheat which are procured from fci which will be provided as part of pds or other places because you are procuring it more then the problem of malnourishment is not addressed the regional places maybe the staple food in some parts of karnataka maharashtra or telangana might be ragi or some kind of millets millets being more nutritious and addressing the problem of malnourishment in terms of micronutrients then you need to provide food according to the location so location based food is the first part mean if there is another problem there may be some fluorosis issue in some other place then you need to address exact problem also using the same schemes that means the tweaking or the planning which is decentralized and suiting to the exact case is what we need and when it comes to vaccination here you have direct vaccines which are with attenuated virus and also the sanitation matters right so with both of them with both of them with this universal vaccination we need to ensure that those problems are taken care of because it's not just the functioning of vaccine or efficacy that matters the preventable deaths should be not because of the errors in vaccination because the vaccine should be panacea rather than it itself becoming cause of death so if we can care these implementation issues which are unlike the planning issues which are bottom up broadly the preventable infant mortality would be very much reduced and last thing i would like to end up with with a report which you can use in your main answers it's by adb asian development bank why do we this will help you understand why do we need to prevent deaths and why do we need to ensure food inflation so the main report was targeting at a wpi food index when it comes to wpi food index for every percentage point there would be increase of 3 units I mean as infant mortality rate is measured per 1000 for every percentage point when you say percentage point it is 0.1% suppose the food inflation is 5% if it changes from 5 to 5.1% you may find I mean this is the long run report of 10 years in 10 years you may find three more kids who can't survive before the age of 5 so this is the reason even containing food inflation is one thing that is classified as miscellaneous or seen in silos but this can't be ignored if you want to address the issues of the infant mortality and again the integrated child and mother health can't be treated differently because even maternal mortality rate has to be addressed to ensure child gets better best feeding which also is one of the reason for the broad infant mortality rate hope you understood various reasons why the problem of infant mortality rate is being occurring and why is it not being reduced 
below a point despite progress over last three decades. You can suggest if you have any novel measures in the comments as well so that we can share better practices and also we can find better tomorrow with human capital built in India to ensure our demographic dividend is properly utilized. Till the time I meet you, it's time to be that use. Thank you.